Hello, this is a quick video to show you how to adjust the end results from a flocking simulation. Um, often the results won't be 100% what you want and short of throwing hundreds of directors and controllers into the scene, um, I'm going to show you a much quicker way of, of getting the results that you're after. So what I'll do is just set up a, a quick scene here. I'm going to use the drop down, create a basic setup. Goal can go to here. The generator can go to here. And what I'm going to do is just adjust these. These don't really matter. I just need to set up a scene which doesn't quite give me the result that I want. And then I'll show you how to adjust that to get the result that you do want. So I'm going to add a deflector here. Add a bit of distance. And we'll calculate and see what happens. Okay, you might not be able to see from the recording, but when it's finished, I'll show you what happens to the paths. I haven't adjusted the deflector strength, and we can actually force this um, to behave the way we want, but I'll show you how it's failed. Okay, if we track back through, the deflectors worked. Um, but the problem is that some of these agents are still within the the deflector range. Now normally you'd expect them to not be, but we've got multiple forces acting here. The deflector is trying to push the agents away from itself so that they just skim that surface, but the agents are trying to get directly to the goal as fast as they can, and they're trying to avoid hitting each other. So these agents here, the ones that are inside the deflector, are actually being pushed into it by the ones on the outside. So at the moment we don't have um, you know, the complex pathfinding that we need to resolve that correctly. We'll look at that for future versions, but for this one we've got an issue here. Now I'm going to have to show you how to resolve that. First of all I just need to set up it's a little bit extra. I'm going to add an object to the scene. I'm going to attach that to our system. Well, typically you would anyway because a um, uh, a flocking system can't be seen unless it's you know, got something in there, like you know, you've attached hypervoxels to it, or um, as in this case, I'm attaching a uh, particle system to it. Oh, sorry, an instancing system to the particles. So we've got our little sparrows flying, and we want to correct these guys that are moving inside the deflector. So how do you do that? Quite easy. I select the generator and I'm going to use the save particle FX option here. So save it as PFX. Doesn't matter what you call it. Go to the particle effects tab on the generator. You can even create a new generator, a new null and add it to this, but I'll just use the existing one. So we create an emitter. You can see it's added all the instances incorrectly. Um, file, load motion, particle effects, file that we saved out before. Now while you might not be able to see anything, which is what you'd expect, um, it's because the new particle system is exactly matching up with the flock that we've just saved out. So we'll remove the flocking system, which just leaves the particle effects. One of the things with the way the um, particle effects system works is when you've imported the um, motion cache, uh, it actually resets the rotations. So in most cases, aligned paths more than sufficient for um, anything to do with, with flocking. And another interesting thing is it actually reverses them. So back into the instancer, rotation, and just apply 180 flick them back around the right way. So now we've got our particle system which echoes what the flocking was doing. We've got our instances rotated correctly. We need to adjust these positions and that's really easy. Go to the effects system here and we're just going to use the particle effects edit tool. Use a bit of fall off to find how much of a range we want and then we can just pick those points and move them. Probably want a bit more range on that. So that one there is wrong, that one there is wrong. I'm just clicking and dragging. 
track forward a little bit, move that point, track forward, move that point. I'm using a fall off, just a soft fall off, and that's just going to adjust our um, our curve neatly. I wouldn't try to change in any of these other options. Um, just the range, and say apply a bit of fall off to it. Takes a little bit of time for adjustment, but most of these um, agents don't need to be readjusted themselves. And you can see there as I track through, they're avoiding the director now, the deflector as we intended originally, and most of the motions have been simply calculated from um, from the flocking system. The last thing you must do is save the motion again, otherwise it'll default back to the um, to the incorrect motions that we had before. So just save that, new flock, save, done. And that's how you adjust a, um, a flocking simulation. Save it out as a PXF, add a particle emitter to the system, load the cache file in, and then just use the edit tool to adjust any of the um, positions that you need. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful.